Hi, my name is Joy Lynn Alagarbis, and I'm a consultant for the Female Health Company, a subsidiary of Veru, and the creator of the FC2 internal condom. Internal condoms are different than external condoms because internal condoms are designed to be worn on the inside of the vagina and they help to give women and receptive partners a choice to protect themselves during sexual activity. Because as a woman, you cannot necessarily guarantee that your male partner will be willing to wear a male condom but you can be proactive about your own sexual health and your own safety by inserting an FC2 internal condom and negotiating its use for the partner. Now, before you open any condom package, internal or external, it's important to always check the expiration date printed on the package and check the package for any holes or tears. If that expiration date is passed or if the package is damaged, throw it away and begin again with a new FC2 internal condom. Also, before you open the FC2 internal condom package, it is important to rub the package gently with your fingers. Now, the reason you do this is because the FC2 internal condom is very well lubricated so that it can be inserted into the body easily. And when you rub the package with your fingers, you're just making sure that all of that lubricant is spread evenly. Now you can go ahead and open your package here at the arrow and when you take the FC2 internal condom out of the package, you'll see that it looks like this. So there's a closed end with a very flexible inner ring and an open end with a wide outer ring. That inner ring is used to insert the condom into the body and it also helps to keep the condom in its proper place during sexual activity. The outer ring, however, should always stay on the outside of the body, covering the area around the vaginal opening. Now, before inserting the FC2 internal condom, it is important to first find a position that really feels comfortable for you. Some people might like to sit or squat. You can also stand with one leg up, for example, on a chair, or you can lie down. And if you are comfortable, if your partner is comfortable, they can help you to insert the FC2 internal condom. So once you've taken that comfortable position, Hold the condom here at the closed end and squeeze that inside ring until both sides touch. Now do not twist it into a figure eight. Only squeeze it simply until both sides touch. And then you'll part the labia and insert the FC2 into the vagina. Now with your finger, go along the inside of the FC2 internal condom and as soon as you feel that inner ring, you'll simply push it up as far as it will go. And as you can see, that inner ring really helps to keep the condom in its proper place during sexual activity. And the outer ring should always stay on the outside of the vagina. Now, when you're ready to use the FC2 internal condom with a partner, hold that outer ring and guide your partner's penis into the center of the internal condoms opening. Now you do this because you want to make sure your partner does not accidentally enter on the side between the condom and the vaginal wall. They should always be completely surrounded by the FC2 internal condom. Now, once you've guided your partner into the center of the FC2 internal, internal condoms opening, there is no need to continue holding on to this ring. You can let go, feel free, enjoy being with your partner, but every once in a while we do recommend just reach down and check to make sure this outer ring is where it belongs, and again that's always on the outside of the body. Now when you're finished using the FC2 internal condom, you can hold the outer ring, you'll twist it three times, and then gently pull the condom out, and you do that just by pulling until that inner ring reaches the vaginal opening, and then you'll grab it with your fingers and you can place it into a tissue paper or another piece of paper and then throw it in the garbage. Or if you still have your package, you can actually just place it straight back into the package and then into the garbage. So now, for a few friendly reminders. Please remember that the FC2 internal condom is one-time use only. Do not rinse it out and use it again. Do not 
flip it inside out and use it again. After sexual activity, you should remove and dispose of the used FC2 and insert a new one before beginning sexual activity again. Also remember that if you are wearing an FC2 internal condom, your partner should not wear a male or external condom at the same time. You should only use one condom at a time. No two male condoms, no two female condoms, no double bagging. Now the reason for this is using two condoms at the same time increases the friction between the two, therefore increasing the chance that both condoms will break. So please use only one condom at a time. It is also important to remember that the FC2 internal condom has a lot of benefits beyond prevention. The shape of the FC2 with the inner ring, the outer ring, and the way that everything moves together actually helps to increase sensation for both partners. And when inserting the FC2 internal condom, you can actually use that inner ring to stimulate her clitoris before inserting it into the vagina. And once the inner ring is in place, pushed up as far as it will go, that ring can actually help to stimulate the male or insertive partner. That's the inner ring. Now the outer ring sits outside the vaginal opening at the clitoris, and that outer ring will continue to move back and forth during sexual activity, increasing sensation for the female or receptive partner. Another friendly reminder that the FC2 internal condom is not made of latex. It is made from a hypoallergenic synthetic material called nitrile. Now the healthcare community is very familiar with nitrile because it has been used for a long time to make synthetic medical gloves. Nitrile is super soft and strong, ultra thin, and it does not make noise when you use it. And most importantly, while some people can be allergic to latex, it is not possible for anyone to be allergic to nitrile. So a latex allergy is no excuse to not use FC2 internal condoms. And finally, just like with anything that goes inside the body, practice makes perfect. We always recommend removing and inserting the FC2 internal condom a few times before using one for the first time with a partner during sexual activity. And studies show that after two to three practices, you're a perfect user. So when you are distributing FC2 internal condoms to your clients, we would suggest giving them a minimum of five each so they have a few to practice with and a few to use. If you have any questions about the FC2 internal condom, please visit our website at fc2.us.com, send an email to info at fc2.us.com, and you can connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.